how to use Microsoft Viva Engage step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can connect with everyone in your organization through the employee communities and conversations on Microsoft Viva Engage. You can create meaningful relationships at work and build community, share knowledge, and engage with employees and connect with leadership. You can start open conversations, make announcements at scale, and create virtual town halls within your organization. This can provide a meaningful third place for your employees to be located in. And when your employees are looking to build community and have a meaningful relationship with the organization and engage with the organizational goals, you would be able to do it better if you are using Microsoft Engage. Now, they have different features like storylines, analytics, leadership corners, answers in Viva, and co-pilot in Viva Engage. The Viva Engage prices and plans start at $2 and $12 for the entire Viva suite. So let's get started with Viva Engage. Now this is our dashboard on our organizational account on Viva Engage. We can click on Engage on the left to open up Viva Engage's complete application. Now keep in mind Viva Engage was previously known as Microsoft Yammer. So it used to be called Yammer because it provided a third place for community building in within a organization. Now we're going to go on ahead and proceed with Viva Engage over here and you will see on the left we have a home panel. Then you're going to have your own personal ID. So this is my ID. Within your ID, you can start building storylines. Storylines are a place where you can share your experiences, celebrate milestones, and basically share your life on your employee platform. You can discuss ideas and interests all together. So it kind of functions like a Facebook feed, but for your employees or for people that are working within a organization. Now within this, you can start discussions, add questions, praise someone, or add a poll. This can be really helpful for managers that are looking to provide a boost for their employees. Within any person's storyline, they also have a activity function which allows them to monitor their own activity and manage their bookmarks. You also have followers and following, so these are only going to be people within your company. And then you're also going to have your profile information, which you can update later on, as well as view other members of your organization. You can see your communities that you have joined on the top right and the number of people, as well as all of the information within that organization or that community. If we click on communities on the left, we will see all company, which is a community that we are already in, and we can join other communities as well. Within any organization, any member that has user permissions is able to create their own community. This can be based upon personal interests or a work goal. You can click on create community on the bottom right and start naming your community. Let's say this is going to be art related, or let's say this is going to be for our human resource team or marketing team. I'm just going to name this marketing and the description is going to be a place for all marketers and marketing ideas like so and then we can add people by their name or by their email address keep in mind they do need to be organizational participants so if they're not present within the same organization for example i am present in one organization and the other person is in another you are not going to be able to add them into an organizational community rather you would have to use microsoft 365 and then add them to the overarching organization first because Engage does not work interlinked between multiple different spaces. Now we have our settings where we have internal where we can collaborate with people inside and public where anyone can view a network and join it. Now I want this to be discussional and I'm going to click on settings and I want this to be internal and after that, I only want approved community members to be able to participate because I don't want people to randomly be able to engage in conversations within our third place. After you've done that, click on create over here and you will have your community ready. Now, I have not added anyone in this community, so no one's going to be able to participate in it, but you have to add at least one person to have a fully functional community. Otherwise, communities cannot be created. So you can't unanimously create a community and then later on choose to add or not add people. Then on the left, we have a storyline section where we can see storylines of other people as well. 
And then you can go ahead and view any of the previous discussions and conversations over here. And you can see all of these are automated messages. So not a lot of people are using this. This organization has over 2,359 members. And you can see all the pinned files, anything important, any of the events will be marked here. Any files would be marked here. And the about section can help you in making sure that everyone stays on topic. Now in your file section, you can go on ahead, click on upload to upload files that are related to the particular goals that you're setting. Now with Web Engage, we also have connections and connections are a separate function now. In Microsoft Yammer, these two things used to be integrated, but now they are available separately as two separate functions. Connections help you in connecting with other people, even if they are not within your domain. You will see any type of organizational resources that have been set up. So if you're looking for a particular type of resource, let's say you're trying to find someone in IT or you're trying to socialize with different ideas, with different types of concepts, you can do that in that engage section. However, one thing to note is that if your organization has not set up any of these resources, they will be led as blank. And then you're just going to have a basic feed. And in your feed, you're just going to see random content. It's not going to be content that has been catered towards you. It's just going to be catered content for Microsoft users that Microsoft is currently pushing, depending on the industry that you are marked in. So we are marked within the educational industry within this particular Microsoft account account. So it is just showing us education related content. It's not content that is filtered for my account. It's just content. Even if I go into the for you section, it just has one article. It's not going to have multiple different articles. It's not going to have a lot of information. It's just going to have the basics. You can also stay on top and edit your files from here. Excel, Word, if you're using the digital versions of that, you can also edit that from here as well as move towards other 365 applications by Microsoft. Now we're gonna go back into Microsoft Viva and we're gonna get started with some of the organizational news. So we can click on get started here and view any news that is available. And whenever you are using Microsoft tools, make sure that your account is logged in correctly because if you're logged in with a different account, you're not gonna have access to all of these resources. Now, if there is any community that you want to mark on top, if there is any organizational storyline or anything that you prefer, you can go on ahead and add that here. So let's say I want to add some storylines related to HR is, you know, XYZ, whatever you want to add, like so. And then you can click on this over here and you can add that post. Later on, you can add different topics, add questions, view conversations, as well as close conversations if they are no longer relevant. And that is how you can get started with Microsoft Engage. It's an amazing tool for socialization of employees and to manage different factors that could potentially lead to burnout within your organization. You're going to have a lot of support and a lot of resources you can set up here. So for most office jobs, this is going to function as a community building tool. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.